Hi everyone, so let's talk about Q Kids and being a teacher to teach English to individuals that over are over in China wanting to learn English. I teach for Q Kids. I've been doing it for a few weeks now and I absolutely love it. One of the things that you've got to do as one of the teachers for Q Kids is rewards. The great thing about Q Kids is that there are reward systems already built into the programs. So you do have little diamonds that you can give to the kids. So you have up to four students, between one and four students, that show up at the bottom of your screen when you're in your class, and you can see each one of those students on a live video, okay? So while they're attending your class, it's a live stream. You can see their names on the video as well, and hopefully you've already done your introductions with them prior to the start of the class. Now, as the class goes on, you are able to give rewards to the entire class as a whole or individually. So a reward that's already into the system is called diamonds. So at the top right screen of your teaching forum, you'll see a diamond shape and you can click on that and give diamonds to the entire class, so all four individuals if you have four people in your class, which is a great way to quickly reward individuals um, or the entire class based on their performance and based on their um, you know, proactiveness in the class and their engagement, which is fantastic. So it's super easy. Click on the diamond in the top right hand corner and you're able to reward the whole class as a whole. Now, if you hover your cursor underneath a, a child individually, you'll see that all of a sudden their microphone settings will come up and in the bottom right hand corner of that child's live streaming video is an individual diamond and you can click on that and give that one student a reward for being extra proactive or playing a game really well or something like that. Some of the games you all play together as a group and some of them you play individually and you bring each student up and they get to have their turn to play the game. And that's another good time to reward each individual student on their own. So that's a great way to give the students rewards and they really like that because the final screen of your class is um, basically seeing all the diamonds that each child gets. And Q Kids likes to make sure that each child has within a five range diamond um, like filler up. So it's these cute little capsules and you can see all the diamonds fill fill up and then it does a, a cumulative rally count. So for instance, you may have a class and you wanna make sure that all four kids are brought up at the very last screen. You can see all their diamonds come up and then it'll show the tally of each four, ch four children. And you need to make sure that nobody has like 65 diamonds and then somebody has 102 diamonds because that just will, will not go over that well. And so what you wanna ensure is that maybe you'll have somebody with 87 diamonds and somebody with 85 diamonds and then somebody with 90 diamonds, but you don't ever want that gap to be more than five diamonds, if that makes sense, okay? So keep everybody within a five diamond difference so then everybody feels like they've done a great job. So I actually had trouble with this during one of my um, trial classes that I taught because I had one student who had some technical difficulties, so he was coming in and out, in and out, and so he did not have as many diamonds. I think he was maybe about 15 diamonds less than everybody else, but that's because he wasn't in the classroom as much. So his mom and I were working on the technical difficulties together while I taught the class simultaneously. So he did a great job, but I had to make sure with my trial class review came back and I got feedback from my instructor from QKids. They said, please make sure that the diamonds are within a five difference ratio. And I had to let them know, you know, that that individual had some technical difficulties, so that's why. I didn't get in trouble, I didn't get dinged or anything like that. It was just a pointer and a suggestion, and I was glad to have that feedback from the instructor, from Q Kids, so then I could actually make sure that each child was in that five diamond ratio, okay? So that's a great way to reward your kids. I know that some other um, classes or some other um, companies they make you have your own reward system. And so in order to not have to purchase your own supplies from either a school teaching store or the dollar store, or have to constantly be reaching or turning around and trying to have a reward system for your students, it's so nice. Q Kids already has it um, built in. Another free way to give rewards is just being enthusiastic and fun. So normally we do things like, you know, 
High five, everyone. Great job. Let's do a high 10. Oh my goodness, everyone's done wonderful. And oh my goodness, you guys have done a great job. So great, everyone. Make sure that you say everyone or everybody consistently so that they all know that they're performing well. So another time, you know, I'll do the high five, everyone. I got this at the dollar store. High five. Great job. Awesome job. At one point, I actually had bubbles that I would blow, but I realized that you couldn't see them super great on the screen. So I just nixed the bubbles. Um, and so make sure that you say wonderful, good job, high five, wonderful job, everyone, excellent, good job, everyone. Um, you could say, you know, a ton of different adjectives for um, doing a great job. So don't consistently say, Good job, good job everyone, way to go, high five. Bring some enthusiasm to it and say wonderful, outstanding. Oh, everyone's doing a great job. I can't believe it, oh, oh, so good. And just be kind of nerdy and they really like that and that's totally okay. It's just you and them, maybe a parent in the background and that's okay. So just have a lot of fun with it. You can even do the, um, you know, Big Hero 6, boom. Blah, blah, blah. You can do that. My kids love that. Or just a fist pump. There's a lot of ways to be encouraging. So just really pour it on and show support to the children and their participation, okay? If some of them are kind of lagging, it's okay to say, you know, um, Johnny, let me hear you say it. Oh, good job. Yes, let's give you a diamond. Or if somebody's doing great job, you know, a great job being really interactive. Like this morning, I had a student that was so on it. He was a little bit older than the other kids, but he was doing great. And I'd say, oh, I heard somebody say that. Lion, I think it was you. Or Johnny, I think it was you. Or, you know, Sam, I think it was you kind of thing. Um, and go ahead and give that encouragement. Um, and uh, and in my class today, I had all boys except for one little girl. And I would say, oh, I think I heard, you know, it's Sarah or Susie today. Good job, that kind of thing. So let them know that you're hearing them individually because they can't hear each other. So you need to make sure that, you know, they're um, able to know that they're doing a fantastic job. So that's just some fun rewards. You could, you know, even have, you know, my little dollar store, you know, if they're really, really young kids, I'll say, oh my goodness, my, you know, do you know the dinosaur thinks you've done so good? High five, high five. And they think that's so funny. I, I don't know why, but anyway, it's fun, it's nerdy, and they like it. So really just bring some encouragement to the kids, use some variety, make sure you're inclusive with everyone, and just have a lot of fun with it. Bye.